sitting at the second day of March 2021. The Honorable Dr. Kande Kole Yumkela be on AYV the interview. I think this should be the second season of the interview on AYV. If you now somebody will be done the following, you go find out say we will get um, a tradition, a culture now, yeah? whenever the interview can finish, whoever Samuel Wise host, now that person day and the conversation we then get now we go deal with now this platform. So since the second season starts today, um, that then they want for can deal with. Even though we be get an update from yesterday in program. Now we be really want for do, but maybe tomorrow we'll come with that. If you been there yesterday, you go find out say yesterday we do what in calf say about we stadium. Yesterday, some people let me ask say what to so where the minister, where the minister? My dear, the minister don't talk. The minister say, what in calf say no to true. <laughs> I not tell you na ya yesterday where so we say they talk say according to them, according to them. Well, the minister say, but could see we calf talk no to true. Mm -hmm. And I think say, okay, let's just turn with KKY today. Tomorrow, we go can do a follow up on this one way they don't say. We stadium not fit for international match them. Because if we tend for the deny the reality of things them would go on us alone, how do we want to fix the problem? Eh? Yes, the minister of sport, Ibrahim Yelenke, say the thing away calf talk but we stadium not to true. Alright. But I left that one with us. Because a lot of people them then they ask say, do ya where this man where people them na the diaspora then be think say na ina be the fixer for salon. Eh? Say we reach salon so salon go able for team up like how then they aspire and for be. Then before you make some people say it look lost like salt na plaza. So you go taste some, but you no go see. So what's in the gun with Honorable Dr. Kandekole Imkela? All right. For 2021, he was on the interview. And then they will go can deal with it. We go play because sometimes you'll not be able for listen or watch the interview. So what do they do? We go play. Make we all watch him back. Then after that, eh? After that, we go come back. Make we all can rub more pa waiting a talk now. This time around. Eh? <laughs> All right. Make we start with waiting uh, Nakovac tell we for today. Nakovac say the lab stem be analyzed 327 test them. 327 test and the lab the lab stem analyze, then two be turned out for be positive. Then two here, yeah, one are from Western Area Urban and the other one are from inbound passengers. So because of them two yeah, we don't test positive now the country. We cumulative confirm positive cases now to reach 3,889. For the past 24 hours, nobody no lost in life to COVID-19. So still stand at 79. The one they were there in isolation, now 1,182. The one them we don't recover from COVID-19 na the country na 2,628 because for the past 24 hours nobody no recover from COVID-19. The one them where they in quarantine na 120 and the one them where they on discharge from quarantine na 14,487. Alright. Low peep na the Mano River Union countries them quick. For today. Like I said just now, Salona 2, Guinea 89, Liberia, North Shore Face 0, Ivory Coast 37. Which means Guinea lead back today. We give you a total number of 128. The cumulative death, Sierra Leone 79, Guinea 
Guinea hmm. don't go up. Guinea 91, Liberia 85, and Ivory Coast 193. If we check yesterday, Guinea na be 89. So within the past 24 hours, Guinea don't lost two people them to COVID-19. As long as the number they go high and high like I they go so definitely it go go up. And Ivory Coast lost one person within the past 24 hours because yesterday Ivory Coast been get 192 and today they get 193. So now we get a total number of 448 people them where we don't lost to COVID-19. Now the Mano River Union countries them. We pray say the soul rest in peace and the memories live on. Dr. Kande Kole Yumkela, in name be the play lately, where it come to within the Africanist press being right. Because instead of the speak up, say, you know what in? We don't need for the balance, balance this one. Something they where the people them look gain interest over. Something they we go and bug with economy in a salon. Something they we it look like if we say if we not behave properly, huh? It go look bad pa we And if na so no more, we say with the left arm, huh? It no go right. Not to them fake fake school. Not also. Ah. Just in case you na passing away, I don't think if I school that you go forget your PhD. That's a kind of color you can say, not to think if I school. <laughs> not to think if I school in go forget in your PhD. A lot of things been laying at the table. What's a lot of things? A lot. Boku Boku one been there at table. Okay, you breathe a sigh of relief or you just get confused the more. Or you think, see, with all waiting, Dr. Kande Koleyum Kela don't talk. Hmm. Man, I even know, Seth. Mm. Politicians, then. Eh? They all sweet mot. They all so so sweet mot na and they make. Or you think to say, um, you know what? I think it says some things the way one make this particular administration not look correct. Eh? Also. He point out Boku Boku. I be telling you the right. I don't know if you be the right to. He begin from that audit report. We parliament, not the debate. Samuel Wise find a safe ground for making us the question. See, I don't know if um he go right for make us ask this question. See, parliament. Because they know they debate the audit reports, for say they serve the aid and abet corruption in the country. That's a kind of collegium kelasi. Yes. And then they do them in a way way. Mm. <laughs> then we can like say they don't understand. Eh? How you feel say they understand? But so aside in the way talk say you don't engage the likes of the chief minister, the vice president, the attorney general. This stuff for the one the way we don't they ask for them. I don't know if you don't able for redeem himself. Eh? You think say he don't able to redeem himself now from the one that will be the ask for her? Huh? One side way, he make clear. 
when this administration say they don't go interview people, people and say, hmm? they no want political party for local council election. He say, we will resist. We will not have it. He say this one. Now one party. For most small, small, we don't see. I be the cam, say he can. And we don't big so now one can see and back he can. We go resist. How? See by a letter. In the talk to the president, or make the president listen. And at the end of the day, the president listen just and say, Oh, now listen, president. But why even would they get the conversation first? Eh? And he explained Gui about the NGC constitution. The NGC constitution, the APC constitution, the neighbor do not with them, but the SLPP constitution. Hey, not to miss you. I'm waiting for Dr. Kande calling the Honorable. He said, but the SLPP constitution, everything they go smooth with her right now. But the NGC, you know, no, he as parliamentarian, he gets the right eh, for ask for a debate on certain things the way he failed to say go be correct for the country. But before that one day happen, they get for Gazetta. Who said in the Gazetta and the government printing? Government printing now, now others from above now they take. He said that one way one can go for me then debates. <laughs> and then they even allow one. Not to wait Gazette and go make you can go parliament for debates. This is the all way thing he explained. Eh? He even accused PPRC. Say PPRC self don't mix for the Dabaru business. PPRC they play politics. Then the fan way. Eh, for stifle their position at the country. I say talk boku. Decide for the free quality education. He say anything to say. It's high time for me to find an independent body for can check to 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 the quality. Inside the free education. Eh? That's what he say. He say because, okay, then they say, oh, two million people they don't go to school. Now, two, they don't go. But the amenities the way they need, do they have it? The facilities the way they need, then get her. Eh? For semi married fool, not to end at you know. The people that we invite for go this married, they're able for it. Is it about the crowd? Or is it about the one the way they go the married? Make myself come out and say, wow, that was really good. Oh, now the crowd no more one for C. Eh? He say then they in support of the free quality education. Like all then, then take and say, not to politics, but the free quality education. He said, but then be expect the government for do I'm in phase and I think we've said that over and over here we don't they go on sound lies like a a broken bottle now seen in phase and then for don't do one but today no they just take them vroom. eh and but in the way talk with you see he need the president's attention. Even in this school, he called for the president's attention. Even on the taking the political party out of the local election, he called the president. But could see the day he called Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President. Because at the end of the day, when things fail, they come back to the president in foot. Eh? He say the same thing will be done. They happen. They happen now. And in certain areas, then there is no due direction. In him, that one, we say new direction. No day. 
where they suppose for debates in parliament, the audit report. But they need to do one. Even if he call for her, then not go do one. Who da put the speaker of parliament day? Eh? It's talk about the public account committee. It will be headed by who? An opposition. Because then they are no more go able for team up for pro. The other thing I have, I said something about that. People say, oh no. Why say certain things then they the opposition nine them for gi. I talk and then people say no, then go use them for politics. He say in Ghana, the public account committee, that's what then they do. But no. We not choose that one deal. Instead, we choose the one we say Ghana, the own local economics and politics. Because we think they already get a matured democracy in Ghana. Eh? But I don't know if you be the right. But it talk a lot. Like I said, if you na be them people them, we be the question them. You still think say he don't redeem himself, or you think say ah, but there, what's okay, okay, why? Guy they can talk, a big year, yeah. As a bit talk no more, they make himself now the same thing no more. The same thing now, when I make like full now, yeah. That's why they think or you think say, you know what? Um, maybe behind the scene he don't they do what he they do, but sometimes not so we expect them. For who quit we? You want now or you want with first? Okay, my no problem. I'll be in general. Eh? What I think, say, it was a good one. With all the conversation, we happen. We don't hear from him. And now, let me bring in with panelists them on board. Let me hear you. What's in Nadeon Tick and Yusef go come? And get your opportunity. Yes, Usman Tolly, you get the platform, sir. I think she, a lot of things then covered, a lot of things then covered, starting from that of governance, they go in terms of the economy, we talk a lot about uh, justice, and as well as uh, a progressive agenda. That is the best way forward for the country. I think a lot has been covered, and most of them here we, we cover here. Yeah, things in that we will be also discussed on this platform. When you talk about uh, things we concern with the corruption, the Auditor General's report, we talk about the perceptions of against them, people in perception about how they think about the country, how the uh, the economic policies that we the government they take in order to translate to the citizens then. And rightly so, uh, Triple A, as you mentioned, we talk about how for foster the best way forward for bringing accountability and transparency in our country. But to start with, let's we'll just start by asking a question. You think, say, then for lobby, the Speaker of the House, for investigate allegations of corruption within a constitutional requirement for parliament, if you say them for lobby, the speaker of the house. These are some of the fundamental questions that this way we can talk about. We not surprised we uh, a government impose a speaker of the house in a parliament. Now some of them here. Why do they have to lobby a Speaker of the House for investigate issues of corruption? Clearly, you listen to KKY. He talks in recently and in the, in the last year. We get a lot of cases then. We in allegations of corruption. We don't come up. And very recently, we know about the African Express. We know about... Um, Many, many other issues, short as the Auditor General's report. All they talk about allegations of corruption. I think, say, this nothing where no need for lobby. The Speaker of the House, 
for table length here in the parliament for debate on them. Now, T way for can because now, now the responsibility that none of the constitutional requirement. We don't see one old uh, press come up with so much evidence system, invoice system, and a lot of things that we come up with. You say this na 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 corruption based on the country, and we are the most powerful uh, institutionally in this country. Parliament is the most powerful institution of the country. Then you have so much power. The constitution you have so much power. You know for check their allegations of corruption. Yeah. You know, they don't need for lobbying the speaker of the house as a matter of constitutionality. Nothing way than for telling the parliament investigator in order for free up the minds of we the citizens them we will put them inside in this today. We are not surprised at all where some of them then surveyor they come up and say parliament now one of the most corrupt institutions then in the country. Because these are then they it not surprise me again for say then they hate and abate bad behavior, corruption in the country. We all we know say with the blame anti corruption commission for some of them here. But again, one thing we all get to remember is that parliament get a constitutional requirement for investigate some of these allegations. But are they doing it? Are they doing it? Again, we talk about all the general support. We make a lot of, uh, uh, we capture some of them, uh, their, their allegations here, yeah, some of them corruption practices here. Yeah. Over the years, we know see some of these uh, auditor general support, they're not the debate then a parliament. So not all in tier nine KKY, the mention. And one of the interesting things where it states is that um, we expect, say, parliament or table in tier a parliament. But if parliament, you know, they put them tier for investigations, their allegations here. Yeah. So that means, say, it just means say, it creates that culture of I don't care because at the end of the day, they will just talk, talk, but um, there's nothing in order for happen. It's true. When I make, you know, Auditor General's report after Auditor General report, and the same report that they come up with, the same thing, but we know they move further. I think it's on, on point. And one other interesting thing also, where he mentioned, I think I don't also talk about that, is about the perceptions of here. People's perception it matters a lot in terms of governance. And the fact is that we parliamentarians then, we leaders then, they know they take people and CEOs, they know they take with perceptions CEOs, but at the end of the day, now we elect them. Now we put them inside and also today. We don't see one old parliament, the rubbish, the perceptions of it. They say a lie. The perceptions of a lie. The kind of people the way they ask a lie. But how on earth, you know, uh, Afrobarometer, for example, and you listen to uh, uh, KKY. It talks that 84% of the people then, according to the survey, talks that the economy is going to go in the right direction. And that is what people then say. And again, you listen to KKY, it said the effort of the government, not to translate to the people then, to the reality of people then. We see today, you know, with all the effort, with all the economic policy system, all the effort we need to make, you know, they actually translate to the people then, to the standard of living of the people then. People then still they complain. And they are, they are, then they still refuse, including some of the parliamentarians then. Say, then they do well in terms of administration. This is not this way they try for talk. 
And Kekawa mentioned that, say the economy don't they contract, that is only fall before even COVID-19. It don't contract by 2.8% before COVID-19. So meaning, in terms of the economy, the present new direction not to do well at all. And instead some of the factors then will contribute to this. And I think triple A, some of them factors here, and I think we don't only mention that yeah. One of these factors clearly the misplacement of priorities. And we don't talk about them now, yeah. We understand, say, education, now the mantra, the yeah, quality education, now one of the mantras of the present government, quality education. And again, triple A, we talk um, time without number, we don't talk on uh, yeah. See, we believe say this and for don't do one by faces. I think those are one of the areas then where I think KKY major in terms of misplacement of priorities because the quality is not there, accessibility is there. Because one of the fundamental principles of the quality education, the accessibility and quality. Although this accessibility is there, but the quality is missing. And he say, when you want to see the clear indicators, go to the provinces, countryside, forget about future. And I think some of them here the manifest. When even some of the parliamentarians, they may conduct one term, um, an oversight function. I think so some of them think here, they unhack some of the issues here. So parliament is highly problematic. In the sense one, they get the oversight function. They get the oversight function. Very powerful tool, remember? Oversight function, where they will use for poor, even help for mitigate uh, corruption, for stop corruption. They know they use them to live very well, where the constitution gives them for perform the oversight function. In the sense that then he will call a ministry, department, and agency for asking questions about their activities, query them about what they, and what they need to go on. But we know they see that they make use of that tool they very well. So some of them here actually behave and abate bad behavior to the ministry system, to the department then, to the agent system. Now that's I think say, uh, uh, while they talk. But going back to the issue of the economy, we know, see, we talk about the fuel price, we don't go up, we talk about that. Now, one of the variables that we really contribute to uh, uh, the economy, you know, they do well in terms of, uh, or in terms of, you know, they translate to the living standard of the people then, because it just means, say, higher prices. Then. The mining sector, for example, you know, they do well. And to a very large extent, we know, say, we country don't rely very much on the mining sector. And because they rely on the mining sector, so very little can do in terms of diversification. So these are some of the factors that we, I think, KKY mentioned about. So the new direction, the own bread and butter issue. I think it's quite important. Then talk about jobs. Then talk about jobs. Then talk about jobs. But the question we KKY put forward is that uh, in terms of recruitment, when the government recruits more police force, more military, because then believe say the bread and butter issue is about recruitment. But this recruitment way when they talk about jobs, you face at the government. Now, for create those jobs, for help the issue of bread and butter. We now say employment, employment, the help, help indirectly to or either directly or indirectly towards the bread and butter issues. But the manner in which I think the present government to go about it, I think is not right. Public sector jobs, just the, some of the public sector jobs. They just bloat the bill. 
and that really affect the way how the NCR be translate to the people then. It is, it is just, uh, you know, cause more chaos in terms of uh, the way I will translate to the standard of living of the people then. We believe, say, the private sector, nine for creative jobs, sustainable jobs, by creating the government for creating an enabling environment for allow sustainable development, sustainable uh, employment. Now that's what they try to talk about. So for, I don't want to go into too much with other things, a lot of things uh, Keke one mentioned. They talk about the justice system. I don't want to go into that. I think say, other panelists will likely talk about that. But the critical issues here is this uh, triple A. For summarize, I think say Parliament then has so much power. The Constitution gives them so much power. Some of them think they are way they happen. So if they respond appropriately, accordingly, I think say some of them here they can able to mitigate them, they can able to stop them. For example, if they make use of the oversight function, which is a very powerful tool for stop some of them here where they happen, then we put one. Yeah? She don't more call uh, a ministry or a department. She can't be account of our own or their own activities there. Yeah? And when that happens, you know, other departments, they worry, say, look, they can call me at any time to come explain the parliament. For can be account of we, we, we administration of we stewardship or we or we we, we activities then. So why we we'll therefore be very be careful. Yeah? And there is another thing again also where I think say Nick mentioned, I think it is also very important, yeah. Um one thing about the auditor general's report, very, very important. We will say the Auditor General's report over the years, there is not a debate on them. One, I remember the 2018, even the, uh, even the ACC, they try, they try to, very, to some extent, they come up with some uh, recommendations, they come up with some reports, some findings. But what happened with Parliament? Nothing. Nothing will happen. So it just means, say, you know, they just they condone them bad practices, their old practices then. And finally, before I left here, uh, one thing also, when I think Kekua mentioned, and I think it's very important, is that when you talk about new direction, you try for bringing some good practices, forget about the bad practices, yeah? In many sure of a PAC, which is a public account committee in a parliament, we all know, say, uh, public account committee, and then they scrutinize the account of the uh, public. Yeah, very, very important committee in a parliament. Um, this committee, in belief, say, and we practice from China, from, from Ghana, yeah, we are the PAC, public account committees, chaired by the opposition party. In that way, they go help for create a good check. To the MDAs then, because they know say, you know, when the auditor general report come out, you know they only go to, to, uh, to, to the public, but it therefore go to the opposition, and you know, as opposition, they, you know, they try for go for do their best, for the heart, some of the, the, the things them we, we they will, no say when they will feel say this now issues we therefore do with corruption, I think say that that's a very powerful. Uh, way forward, you know, that, that not something where they will bring out the progressive agenda as a way forward. Uh, I will stop here, I'll give a chance to other panelists then. Thank you very much, uh, Triple A. Thanks to everybody with the listening. Thank you very much, Usman Toli. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Make we bring come Dr. Isatuka Kejalo. Make we waiting in get for we. Yes, doctor, you get a platform. Yes, hi. Um, good evening, and I hope everybody did do well. Thanks to Usman Tolly, uh, to AYV Samuel Wise Mangura, and to you, as well as, you know, to Dr. Kande Kole Yum Keller 
for you know taking the time for make isidom and try for give us some insight them um, on things and where they happen within the country as well as you know the views them the things and where they see where we name Sierra Leone you know as a country you know certain things and um, really they affect we image and knowing that being the one of the parliamentarians them he can able make something happen or then can able make something happen by ensuring that then question some of the things them would go around and try for put things them to the current president as to waiting for do and how for go about things and how for look into these things so that we really not look bad at the international community you know we really talk about the image of the country it matters so all this while i know that's why many Many times we, you know, really, most of we or people then they ask, what thing happened to we parliamentarians? Them, you know, why make them they do something? You know, even here in the United States, we be say we get House of Representatives, you know, Senate, you know, uh, committees. Them, all these different. Uh, part them we own country we say now we parliamentarians them and then for try for see what in them go vote on what in them go vote against in terms of things and where they happen at the country so we be the hope say you know we go get many more of these and get you know patriotic Sierra Leoneans them we really go do their young part as Sierra Leonean in making sure that we country maintain some form of dignity in a way can to how the world they perceive you uh, perceive we as you know we can to then corruption you know uh thing that really happen our country because now the corruption now don't hold we back now don't kill we as Sierra Leoneans them yes we understand say we go through a civil war we go through more slide we go through ebola all that thing there so definitely did impact we country in progress greatly but it not means say just because something happened no means say you know for move forward you know the direction where we can see we country the move now more towards you know when you take a step forward you feel like you're taking double step backward and really that not to waiting we did wish for as Sierra Leoneans them we don't done with the war to tell you the truth we now even want for think about them again say you know now that not the only thing for they always hold on to say you know what because we go through war let me could do well no i don't believe so i believe so you know all those things need for make we as a resilient country as a country and people them within the country and people them within with political you know um you know arena for let them do the right things them for let them advocate more for no say people then lost life because of violence because of you know civil war way be say them for don't prevent them but they don't prevent them so going forward we should have you know we should focus on actually we should focus on how we can pass those things and use those things that happen you know from the 1990s to the end of you know uh to the 2000 way with this war done for low see how best we can improve we country as with a model West African nations, them um, where they do well, yes, they not go through in you know, a political um problems. I'm sure then self gets on things and waiting to go through now then country where can make a, a challenge for them political party members them for all the politicians them for make them strive to do better now the country you know um the only thing here I, I just want for try for different make sure i understand this correctly um so here in the united states when they talk about PAC, we're talking about political action you know committee and then i believe say you know now we country we talk about political um i mean public account committee is that right yes public account committee now then they like um for prob things then where they happen now the country we not correct like um accountability now then they okay. they for na po, um na parliament okay so even though it's still the same pack just that it's a different thing you know when it comes to that okay that now one thing and then in the other thing we he talk about because there are just few things i i, I feel say me one touch on i don't do one with the image i'm talking about you know giving you know 
people the right, you know, to be able to run for law, go see people in our country. You know, if you not belong to any of the two political parties, them, you know, way be seen, and then they are, and then are the top one in terms of, you know, who that can take office and then the other hand on the other back take. If people are not one day, and then two party them. You know, yes, in the at the NGC way be said and still they try for you know build some momentum. You know, it makes sense for anybody, whether you belong to you know belong to any of them party them for give them the right for let them run as independent, you know, not the country. Because you know what, we are just tired of the same thing over and over and over again, you know, dealing with the same political people. It's just like you're doing a recycling, you know, when you're doing a recycling of the same people, you're not getting anywhere. You know, and we need somebody with the brains, the minds and the wisdom and the, 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 the kind heartedness, you know, for we nation. Not to the one that way they go sit on there and do um, things them just for benefit themselves and benefit their immediate family members them. Forget, say, the country really need help. The things that what they lack in that country, they, at this 21st century, to tell you the truth, and I'm sure everybody is aware of this, is just because the politics have really blindfolded many of us or many people, because definitely not me, and I'm sure many people on this platform, we are not blind folded that's why every single day we come to this radio program and we voice what we think and we say what we believe should happen for our nation so that we can move past where we are we still feel like we are in the same place without no progress right even though if you ask them you know the politicians them they feel say we're making progress no we are not making progress and nobody is against you know, I'll say this, nobody is against education because education is what will really make us grow, make us be, compete with other nations. But in order for let like, you get education, now you, you know, where you people and for like, educate, you get for make sure, say, the fundamentals are being done and met and no, you know and then you continue for work on all the other things them where you outline say you they do but when you don't do that the country does not have water clean drinking water proper health care system in the nation does not have 24 hours electricity and then you talking about west africa let's compete with ivory coast let's compete with ghana nigeria or uh, even Guinea and, and Liberia, they are far better when it comes to those things. And we need to try to see how best we can pass those things. I remember when people have to leave Guinea uh, and to come to Sierra Leone because they feel like the country it progresses faster. But now beyond that, Guinea is far advance than us and it's a shame knowing that you know these things are happening and there is no way they can sit down and say hey what are we doing here what are we missing what do they miss really what do they miss really but the truth of the matter is what do they miss now that fact say it's not about me it's about my people. It's about the people of Sierra Leone that I took an oath to serve them, you know, with every honesty, every integrity that is within me and try to be transparent in everything I do. But because they fail to do that, that's where we are not moving forward. And we are calling on all the politicians them in that country. We're calling on all the parliamentarians to start speaking up for the people of Sierra Leone. As we are starting to see few of them now, you know, we are grateful for every little progress. But no, sometimes when these things happen, you say it's too late, but you know what? It's better than not seeing any. That's the other thing. And the last thing here, he talks about being having a PhD and then now finally coming into the workforce, right? You earn your degree, you are given the tools in order for you to use your uh, your tools within the theory and now apply it in the practical sector. So that's the same thing I said here before. There are people with the PhD, which is Doctorate of Philosophy, 
you know, has more research than practical in what they are doing. So all those guys, ones that talks about, I have a PhD, I have double PhD and all these things, they don't have enough practical, you know, skills in them. So these are the people that have, you know, doctorates in education, doctorates in business administration, or juries, doctors and nurse practitioners. You can see the practicality in the work they do. So that's the difference. And this is now I'm glad he he's one of them that beginning to say, no, I did. I learned more now than I learned many years back or even when I was in school, because you were never exposed to the actual clinical set. I mean, the actual practical setting. Right. So I usually try to say clinical setting, but uh, I'm just saying this. Um, so. I hope they would learn to know that they didn't learn much with the degree. And we don't want to use those degrees to make people feel like they know it all. You don't know it all until you go within where the problem is. And where the problem is, is going to the people. You know, try, let you go to them people there. Now, mark it. Let you hold a town hall. Let you try to ask them. What really they go on? Spend some time with them for let you hear what they will really tell you about them day to day. And that's where I believe, talk to the camera from this program. I'm sure they get different things and back with them go try for begin to listen to. Right from this program, then we'll understand a little bit more about what thing they go on a salon and how best then we we'll able for help the people them at the country. With that, let me get for tonight, and I hope see that Sierra Leoneans them we work together. We forget this political mindset and think about our nation and think about what thing we go do for make salon go forward this country deserves better and how can we make it better we can only make it better if we work together and love one another and know that the country is our top priority these political parties are not the reason for us to be divided thank you very much thank you very much dr isatuka kejalo Yes, thank you. Yes, thanks. And we go come with us friend, make we a waiting nine take from waiting Dr. Kandekola Yumkela say today. Yes, us friend, you get the platform, sir. Yeah, thank, thank you very much, Triple for giving the platform. And thanks to the previous speaker, then to Dr. Osatuka K and Mr. Usmantoli. And thanks to yourself for able to compile all this information. And thanks to listeners and viewers. Then. Um, this issue of um, trust, we um, had a young Kelly interview on AYV. And we should say whether he could he able to convince me or if rather he don't able to uh, for do a mission one man and see what you don't talk now. If you don't need do duty, um, it will be a bit debatable. But I go out for looking from this aspect here. Yeah. Um, uh, like in the issue where they talk about um, the trust between, talk, he mentioned certain areas. Then he talk about the judiciary. So he mentioned about the audits. He bring a sight of different issues. Then, um, all what you may able to gather here, what he, he they try for point out. Um, he, he point out issues them in terms of efficiency of the policies them would them put, and he relates some of it to the effectiveness of how the effective in terms of the judiciary how then they evaluate that in there but if you look at the efficiency and the effectiveness of them policies there in the law and when you combine combine them together it actually give you where they practice efficiency policies are well planned and uh, everything is in order and then you see it's effectively done we are in the, the ones that we concern then they monitor them in terms of judiciary and those who evaluate and implement them then you go see the trust would it come in terms of accountability the accountability will only come about when all then to their precede a plan but you go see say in african politics waiting people and don't omit and they try to talk about human capacity and when you build human capacity you don't see say in a salon the fault way in talk about the efficiency 
you look at the area, some of the area they don't mention, but indirectly, you will not see that elitism, then the elites, then they choose people and wouldn't they select as a part of a group. And this group wouldn't they try for say, then they elect for lead and see capacity building. That now they your phase one in terms of capacity building, but that should not be the phase one. Because when you do elite election, elite el el that elitism, that way of elite system of trying to bring a system where people who can get policies that will be efficient and then will be effective, now elite system you de avoid. Because instead you go look at for say now only those elected of a group, well, they might not be efficient, some of them might be efficient in some other areas. But because you want for filling that gap, you bring in that elite for can fill in the gap. So in other words, in terms of let the public or the population they profit from waiting them people had a duty then they in a parliament or in terms of um social economic growth, you then see say now they self then the member force because then can for can help them for say you now this will reward you because of either because of you being helpful for campaign or you not passing way with now in a possible way a bit so that now the first area we possible question say now that area the i like see in terms of that phase one it miss of in terms of implementation if you come to the phase two of it the phase two you want to say the phase two of it now in the signal and they bring things them we our policies them we then look here for bring to people them for safe development good day water good day good road good day Electricity go day, health go day, education go day, all those areas they will function, the way we will they function because of the one they would elect so that they will be able to function and become efficient. So obviously that one day where they don't introduce, you not go able for reach to the second stage with that effectiveness. Because those who have been the elites, some of them might just be there because they want to help, they might not know, and they don't want to say we don't know how to go about this, and then you will see say. It comes to the area where you talk about, we do to mention about, about this, about somebody in a sense. And uh, that's what it looks like. We, Kali Yomkela, they talk about the school, where you go, other things. And okay, we will look a bit on that one day. But the point where I for say here is in the jury tool for let you go use them. But again, you go to say, we you use them because, like I say, na sense, na he make book. But the book where you go learn, now, in that person, you don't use for you, you don't, you don't minimize your part. So, if they give these tools and I they use this, then you go use and expand them. Like the man where they go buy that small yogurt starter, for go put in a small milk where you don't mix hot water and cold water for make yogurt for sale. So, you always get that starter. Now, in that the education, where they give you, but how you go put them for mix them to the capacity for no say this my yogurt is sweet, you know, water, water, or it tickle the mixture of the hot and cold water. And how you they buy the type of milk where they put there with the one where they don't go buy the starter for they go get the job. So that at the end of the day, they try for look say the implementation of that one. Then they mentioned about that section 93. And when you talk about that section 93, I talk about the powers then what they implement to the so called auditor general. But the other one way able for pick me up because that side they will mention so now. Inside the constitution at chapter six of the legislation, we'll talk about the composition of the parliament and the establishment of the parliament. Now then you talk about one, two, three, talk right down. But the area we pick me up, we talk about one, one, nine, now the area of that peace and reconciliation. For say, the will and they try for go back to areas them. So what would they wouldn't would they remind we or they try for drag we to this system? Yeah. But when you look at the politics again. In, in Africa, especially for we own country, the comparative politics, where they try for see them. Now, few things and where people like they always miss what are they talk here. So where some of the government then they try for prosper. When they do this 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 picking or this choosing of people that where they can do this job for you. Government and therefore their life say they have to look at their cultural and norm values in terms of human behavior. Who are they able for understand human behavior? For she say how many human they be, what am I they behave? So that I go able to come, I deal with them while they go to a public or forum, how they go talk to them as a leader, so that I go able for diffuse a system wherein I need peace and reconciliation. So you go there for questions, say, well, 
because the historians in back they are not involved in trying to go to that history bringing it and then comparing it to the human behavior try there and now so that they will able to give advice so they didn't come into the committee we doctor will talk about these are the committees where sometimes there are people who are meant to be involved in this because you are lo looking at human behavior you talk about social social economic behavior and when you look at the where not do most of the research in africa because itself as it's not in books and they way can read so actually they understand they said they take part they kind of now they want they facts and then they bring up who are they go look to human behavior not to just for implement ideas you, you know they relate them to the people and culture the people and norms so then they try for bring ideas them um, now for that section one one and why they talk about reconciliation then they try for bring some things indirectly then they sensibly so we, 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 now they come up from one point like we don't come up to one party where they don't oppose what you mentioned about well then we get people that will go argue around when now they come to this to the multi-party but again you see an idea where they can create in other words like in the, the thing they change to another style they mutate they change to another style but now in the kind directly then when he come inside he went inside the, the, the non-partisan and then most likely it's spread about then they get a kind of single party where people the party now go they control and dictate indirectly by financing and bringing policies what then will adapt and say that they will put to now because as some government don't see so do not the recipe so people they get for look then they, they, they change them in a form where the, the people know they know but then they forget say sometimes when people and they do things people and they are aware like an example where you know say people and they remember what you they say because of now the system they we don't talk look what is somewhere well that he said i remember one time we've been kind of one time we've been kind of speaking i quote for that because it been there for records if you want to deny go we'll see we're not playing for you so those are the situations where the people and go look the historians and go gather information and look how people and behave your own pattern so that the people and go enjoy the economy day once the tax area of the development of the country not look into them then the tax the tax equity so that people and go able to live and they go to markets for them will get us subsistence to the economy day and then the program they only they bring therefore be based on budgeting any program you bring should be based on budgeting are they budget? Are they prioritize? I know we just can't say how they do this. When you want, just tower one them. These two, three years, not all beer. No, go we'll make a farm. No, we'll make it. No, we'll just bring in structures. Not to say, will they try for what tests or will they go experiment? We we'll don't plan a museum. And then one day, they will they cast a party where they can't put this agriculture. What do I be? Whatever it is, let people and beer. Before the five, ten years, like any decades old on the chat, you don't see development, they go. But once they are not going to start it, they're always trying. Then they bring implementation. You go see, say, the economy, they grow, they, 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 they grow but if they grow wearing, if they get defects them because of people there, they don't get a culture, and that culture, they, they react to the, to, the, to the leaders there. And then you go say again, now the problem of the people there. But it's not the problem of the people. Like the problem sometimes of individual. I will bring an example here. Like this days, they are the police and go track somebody where they where they where they buy motocade, where they recycle them. So we don't increase the theft of motocade and freedom. Okay, you, you go blame the band where they go to farm. Then I want it. Then you go blame again the man where they sell them. But here, the one way you go blame more, where that man not be there, where they make that idea, they will blame the go crash it with no person where they do this thing and that we care and just care no more quick, you go change this part here. The people them. Way for wrong with it, but kind of what is fine because I know get side for one. It is changing idea for do something else, but once you get the person only in what they inside her, now so then they go. So sometimes you they blame the citizens then, but now the area. So all police are not hold that money now. For now, that person come back, he go say, So the thief go blow for us. So those are the kind of things we try for us. No, we don't blame the citizens there all the time. Would they blame the among the citizens and the one they want the bad person, they will get rid of them. Then you know go blame, say, okay. You know go blame, say, oh, they were they don't want to walk. Oh, I know go sorry for them people there. There are elements there when about people there, but the government get for plan these things so that they will get a, a tool where in that tool they when they talk about the building blocks of society, they will come and the trust. And the duties them way them they try for the owner accountability in terms of efficiency of the policies and the effectiveness way. So efficiency, effectiveness, now will bring accountability, and that accountability will bring trust so that the economy will come up and that creeping, creeping, creeping. 
and then will become like something where they affect me like a disease or not they go they gradually they go on and as they treat them now so it come back those people are there in the streets as illegal hustlers some of them but some of them they need an area with an avenue and then the politicians say they have to know sometimes these things are there for them to reflect the man what he do for me tonight or whatever this evening we've been getting last night yesterday he don't give me the tools he don't give me the tools that the only help we help we but in terms of for say he don't do the work well the people are in are actually impaired in listening the leaders they know they listen sometimes the that they say you know will do in work but again people go ask what strategy what then the poli the opposition will do are the poli are the opposition uniting in a way where they will make a voice then you will ask again the civil societies then they but again you will ask how far then they listen to them so that that the culture the culture where they will get inclusion that inclusiveness because the inner the causes of all this area will be will be caused the problem of the war inclusiveness that debating of the things and then they do separatism then they do elect in, in, in electism and when they elect some person a group of people that for can perform not so because of you that person will efficient not so because of one for solve this problem and when we do and primarily because of we don't do the phase one for say that capacity building would they bring people away no no they are going to do it, but yet they are going to do it first so that they, they can be all right in terms of their economy, in terms of their well-being, before they go to phase two. And phase two should have been phase one. When are the citizens and plan, but they are bringing it first as phase one. Now, in the delay, we call that phase one day. Now, in that the problem of development, that phase one of development of chosen people is what they should try and eradicate. Then we will go to phase two. And I will bring you people that would have effectiveness, people that would think and try for less and longer before. Thank you very much for giving the platform. And I only God will make them be able to always listen to me. As gradually would they go, we'll get clearance of things. Thank you very much, Tripoli. Let God continue for bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Usfain. Yeah. You're most welcome. Yeah. yeah. Yes, call ID live on here. You name me side call from please. Yes, this uh, time Mr. is going to the call from from nowhere, but Mr. Tupole, they are me, they are near the big. Yeah, this government selling left this talk here, so but this um 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 political team say all party for you know for doing that they are near the big. Because at the end of the day, Mr. Tripoli, let's not forget this over to it will be over to APC back in the day. How that happened? They say because of corruption, because of one party state, because of uh, tribalism. So if one, if the governments they act, uh, uh, you know, advocate for go back into them kind of thing, and that, that means say that will, will, will people then be can kill them, will people then be can die, that be senseless for which uh, which is the case. Then that over two day and just means say something sinister be the BND because if you know, if they want bring the same people, the same head of states, if they want bring that same thing they back, they wouldn't even be called back two or four because they will aggravate people then. Because some of will get memory. We get memory. So they are them forget this this non political fear them push and behind that. Because if they not be left and thirty years ago, what's it make the one can do and back? Tata. Thank you very much, sir. There is a point where um Honorable Kande Kolaim Kelasi then two days yeah, cooking oil non go up. I was talking to somebody in Sierra Leone today. Today. Now they say, oh, in common markets, um, oil long go up. I like, oh, it says, yes, cooking oil long go up. I say, almost, he got it right. He says, 6,000. Now I say, so I must be the seller. Now I say, now be 4,000 for pints. Now be 4,000 for pints. The day before yesterday, we go market. Today we go market, now 6,000 leons for pint. Just like that, we took go say 50% increase. Because if it was 4,000, and um, 50% of 4,000 is 2,000. So they had 50% increase now, it don't go waiting. 6,000 leons. Who are the money to waiting? And we see don't team up this. <laughs> and I say, no, go for good, but I want to see when. I want to see when. And waiting at the excuse, then say, feel go up. Who's ten feel no don't go up? Eh? Who's ten feel no don't go up? Another person tell me say no, not to feel who now NRA they don't have a pardon our taki. 
but the government go come back to this and can say, oh no, um, we not really understand the the rates now so it day not to so not to what not. But now so things and just to go up, inflation just to take place, prices then a market just to go up. Who they control who? Eh? Just in space of waiting, 50% increase. From 4,000 to waiting, 6,000. Is that right? Eh? Let's call ID live on air. You name and who's call from, please? Uh, it looks like say, everybody don't digest enough today. Nobody know how to call. Who would you call? We need to because we care about Salom, Mina Omar from Los Angeles. You get three minutes. The, tru the truth of the matter is that so you question the way you ask. I go tell you, say, what can he do? We all know the politics in Sierra Leone. There's absolutely nothing he can change. I like the man, I love him, I, uh, I mean, an NGC guy. But nothing, not the way kind of you can let it do. He go talk all the time. We all know the African politics. Opposition, I get no hand. Once you're not opposition, you're not dead meat. We can just allow us some tending. We can get out of the way. But what did they do? Then my the arrogant. Just a couple of days ago, we were inside and we talked about road the road, whatever, 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 whatever. What the minister they talk, we not only listen to answer them. You know, they talk like that. Then talk like they would have left and give that guy who in a Holland. Not to you and an honorable minister. You know, they call people like Anch or Chinch. Kita. You know, they do that. Mosquito, yeah, right. Yeah. You know they do that. You know, but then people are for me because you know, see, now any civilized nation, the election, the people and they look, the opposition and they look and say, uh-uh, this thing law not doing because the public not in favor of them. But then they do not care. They're not care because they're not said go win. Now trade on day. Where APC come two times, then self come two times, APC go come back two times. This not not deal with on done. So they're not care. We, we people and they suffer. If you if you if you if you they talk to young men and women in our free town right now, then they suffer. We go with young sisters and we're into prostitution right now because they can't afford it. The people they can't afford nothing for them. Nothing nothing. Then people let it continue just like when Miss Donna and they tell me neighbor they say, Ah, I don't buy five bag grass, I put on a house. She just have my cow now kill. Me picking the okay. Then me picking and they look behind me back, they look the person women where they talk to say, uh uh, who would they starve now? Yeah. Now die would they die soon. Now so then people here yeah, they do. Fatima be okay, they tell you what you what your man don't do. Anytime where then guy account on TV, then they tell you things that they don't do. Then when you care camera go, you go ask the people that you literally they see life they come out, out of them. Life they come out, out of them, body. Because what's you they not care again. Because now we get something for it, now make you go buy soap for what? How you go treat a fellow human being that they want us? How you go treat people in this way? People in this train. You go now free time, you that a bad child, you talk to somebody, you want you go and hold your nose. If you feel like something for it, that toothpaste you go worry for buy, for brush it is. How this man they treat people as so? Eh? Now the thing this way they take over and say, okay, yeah, we're not we'll tie with APC. You can't talk fine. Now you treat the people on worse than what you if we will if they be not letting them have APC day. But the guy not care every day that they tell you say that this we don't do, that this are they can do human development, human capital development. Maybe not make kind of you make a lot of the talk say, maybe not to some of who will get a better PhD. Because this guy don't know the meaning of uh, 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 human development or human capital development. Tell me any sigma who goes to a classroom. Tell me any angry below to go sit in a classroom. Take care of the people and first. Then we'll go talk about education. You they talk about human development, human capital development. The people then literally, just like we ice they melt the yard. The people and they melt the go down ground. You not care. Here you were for not just the cost. You know, they give back talk. When a pali on a on a on a on a on a cabinet minister and they call people and cheech, cockroach. What did that tell you? They no side of it. I don't know my brother. Thank you. Thank you very much, Uma. Martha Eronobi says, say we tire of the ongoing issues. It they make, we're not even waiting for talk. we they lost word for talk. Eh? That would have found say, say, we need for stop for import rest. Let me go back to the basic. What's in the basic then? Um, Madina too, 
Dean say say he not go go down ho because I talk about going down. He say he not go go down ho. Na na the uh, um, food stuff then a market. He say then go they go up and remember Easter and Ramadan they can just know. Yes, call I day live on here. You name and who's the call from, please. A name Dauda. Uh, they call from Maryland. Yes, Dauda. You get three minutes. What's your contribution? Uh, my own contribution is you know. We country, we country don't they suffer too much in the hands of politicians. Anyone we come, we get your own story. Anyone we come, we get your own, your own, your own, your own lies. The way they tell people them, you know, and 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 they, they continue for say human uh, uh, capital development. I not see any development in waiting than they do right now. Then call the education free, but at the same time. It, it, it is not free. People that they spend more money now than when they, they even pay school fee. You know, and 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 everything we think how the Yum Kelabi they say, you know, it make a lot of sense. Ninety percent of what they say make a lot of sense. And and in one guy not get a power for change for change what they go on inside it. You know, where the present government they squeeze everybody. They, they squeeze every absolutely everybody. You know, so nobody not the way they will make a change without they not squeeze you out. You know, me me one thing the moment believe is we need for go back to basics. This country need for Sidom, them politicians they are need for Sidom. Law go back to basics. Law go back to the drawing board and see who say and who say we don't make mistakes. Who say and who say we need for correct. Let we stop for the for the because any anyone where they get where they get position and then they sit down and look waiting waiting this past past government don't do wait, when are the mistakes where they do when we go come like change their mistakes day none of them not get that sense they for do them but they, they call themselves a uh, 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 PhD holders they, they call themselves doctors but I don't see waiting waiting then they do then doctorate degrees them and not see what, what thing then they do for implement what thing they say they, they, they know. You know, we need to go back to basics. Law go back. Let people then go back in a farm. Let them go start for farm. Law stop for the import rest. Law stop for the import but good things. They let people, they'll force people to go back in a farm. If we will not do that in the, that country, they for let will develop. It will be difficult. For long people and eat, it will be difficult. Prices them just, they go up, they need a candle. And then they not go change anytime soon. I mean, on contribution, Dandy. Thank you very much, Dauda. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, call ID live on here. You name me side call from, please. Concerns for from Australia. You have to three minutes, sir. Uh, thank you so much. I want to comment AYV, the questionnaire. The guy will be the interview, Dr. Yumkela. He did a very fantastic job. Then also, Yumkela did a fantastic job for highlight the issues and the problem and challenges them where the government and every Sierra Leoneans they face. The point we know for me here is, in as much as we go condemn government of the initiative of not implementing them well, it depends how you do view them or which side where you day. No matter how we look at them, this government opened the doors for debate and take education serious. Imagine if this government not for be come with the initiative of the free quality education. We're not for the debate education there, our yeah? but let we applaud the government for the fact that they call the initiative, whether the way we expect them, it not match, but at least it don't open the door. It don't open all my AI as to the importance of education. So for one, to me, I commend them for that. Because if a problem lie down, somebody not bring them up, it become an issue, become debatable. Some of you not for the discuss education there, we yeah? For the past how many years now, Sierra Leone, the debate on education not ever heightened compared to when this government car with one of in policy where it say they bring free quality education. So democracy or development now any country now small small. As time they come come up, voters them will catch up with lies and reality. As time they come up, people them will understand when a government make policy, if people them don't become wildly educated. And then go in depth analysis and like how they debate education. So people get the understanding what in government to do about in, uh, uh, education, how government for coming and improve education. Now, now go say, hey, school picking and not be get chairs so and not get a uh, 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 bench them because the quality education don't make a lot of people be out of school, but good parents will not be able to pick them, will not be out of school. 
don't come on board for kind of school. Now, they don't find out, say, we will not be ever prepared, we will not be ever to take education serious. Because if they all the past governments, then we don't they take education serious since after independence. We will not for the get the issues here that, that much of not, us not having classrooms in the provinces and in the villages. But because we will not be to take education serious. So for me, I commend the government for call this free quality education. We are in now we get a platform for see the mistakes them away from after independence. We'll never make any improvement in the education. And that they put pressure as they put pressure so to the government for make sure this that then go to these villages, make sure they rest school, make sure they find better teachers, and improve the services of teachers. And me take that one day. And let me come to Dr. Yum Kela. I always they argue this. The, a government they work like the human system. The human system, now the same thing like how biologists then distinct the human body and the organs there, the way each one gets in role. Each one, when they function properly, they affect how you, the human being, they behave. So now the same thing like governance. If you get the organs of government, each of them branches, they are not independent. Then they do their role. The other person, they come on, they can't interfere by their own role. If they find out, say, if they got a disrupted system. And now the challenges that are the way they face in our third world countries. And this is a challenge where every third world country they face, and even democracy in America, the challenge we see in the era of Donald Trump, where it interfere with the judiciary. So these are ongoing challenges. How we they deal with them now? Now that now we on back now we on challenge by speaking up, by telling the truth, by not siding your political party, even when they are the wrong side of history. You just they continue blindly. And Apple with Donald Trump in supporters in America. Now make most time where they do some of them here again. Even though America is a, a third world country, but the last four years, then democracy behaved like any third world country. There is not much of a difference. We have Donald Trump to interfere with the judiciary system. If they take executive orders, them, and then they listen to the House, and then they listen sometimes to even the senators there. So these are things that we have to look at. Now that's my own take. Thank you so much. And me, the uh, advice, Dr. Mkela, in as much as he gets a very good intention, I believe, say, if you call to the president, say, Mr. Ishi, I want to get to talk with you. Low we sit down, low we discuss issues the way the border and the country. I believe, say, Mara Biogo opened the door for him. Then go sit there and discuss, like, I go meet Jules Lejalo. If you don't meet Jules Lejalo, things will not move forward. Go to the hierarchy again, say, His Excellency, I want to get to talk with you. I get issues the way I want to deal with, with you. Low we discuss. Low we try to push the country forward. I believe, say, HD go get an attention. Diana Mion take. Thank you so much for our presentation today. Thank you very much, Concern Sierra Leone. Like, I may ask a couple of questions when we start. I say a lot of times people can ask, say, where this man we can make, like saying, can fix it, he can fix things. When a doctor can they call him, kill a worm. Well, if we can go by what he said, on this interview, me can clear say that the background it don't the work, and uh, he make couple of statements. Them we want for draw the president's attention, and this one we get for do with the local council. Them even go further for see make the president get the attention. They make them come and call mayors them. Because according to them, they ask me or they mayor them say, they don't meet them. So, who done are them people there? Yeah? With this administration, say they take one year, they get consultation with. Who done are them people yeah? here? With the mayors them, then now the paramount people them in this. And the mayors then say, they don't meet them. Who done are them people there? Yeah? Um, this one very serious. If we go back, we take the peace commission way in a grab na grown because of the way out them pass an parliament. You you not go say something for peace, then you bulldoze them. Uh, you not go work for peace means for peace if for stay like a that and yes it will be a difficult one but now make them call them peace you the lobby you they make say you get your way of course there are ways to get around things but one thing where we see in a parliament <laughs> they not get that time day the current parliament will get then a bulldoze then they sabi and i think say 
it's you know correct for me query it make different mentions them we tell we we it try for bring something in at the table we don't encourage ourselves according to the Salomon term we can say I say now we encourage and I make then say go go na government printing go put and they government printing now no they don't so it's just like even right now as the parliament today now what they want and now if you see the opposition they all count to one then begin to map against waiting the um SLPP members then one for champion then people then go gap say na politics oh na politics na one for see this country better but what about the things we other people they want for count with should they not be heard eh i think say they self get the right for be heard but from the onset how the parliament they begin this fifth parliament o guess so how we start huh oh i'll just say and no more just say oh but na the best we want for salon ah uh-huh. it talk about the economy it talk about the livelihood of Sierra Leonean stem it talk about paying attention to the audit reports to even waiting the african express they say they even blame parliament in certain things them i don't know if parliament and go go call and just and say okay you know it in uh, can begin the city on being enforced back because literally if you able for make up of waiting it talk about parliament is almost the same thing for say parliament corrupt even though now then the parliament no one for yeah if parliament suppose for debates auditor general report and parliament behave like say he forgets and he able for explain to we say yes then go get get and say by the third six months other one don't come on so that previous one they don't forget butter he say it they make the people and feel to say government money na free money would it i left both not you know they come up behind it because we tin do parliament for debate parliament empower the different ministries they way for empower and better comedy but is that what is happening no parliament don't get time for that so if parliament they pretend like a fossé auditor general report not they for lay na table then parliament they get green light to them people them who they eat with money just like a that now before when it was the previous administration na eat money but now this administration no not to eat money a different a different not to no not to for certain thief the money the money day is just that say the paperwork and not be able to produce and that thing day is just like a faucet then they fight back but the previous one day we come on, ah they never get them well, according to honorable kky he say no new direction no day in certain areas them how we be done they happen previous regimes and so it don't happen today take go now so it go happen no we don't want time for happen take go it can happen today but we have the power to change it for tomorrow but do they care you think say they care all right <laughs> me for me i don't think say they care ah because every day na new one every day na new one every day if not to a na b if not to b na c to they reach to z we get for come back to a every day na new one as we sleep and wake when i go wrap up everything today if everything left like i did so now nothing major not happen tomorrow i think see would they come back with waiting the minister of sports say about calf 
if we can't accept the reality, how do we want to change? Eh? If we can't accept a yes, now so this is bad as it is, and we need for fix them, how can we make change? So if everything stay, unless something major happen tomorrow, but I think so we need for Kanalo here waiting the minister say, the minister of sport. Because he say, calf, they lie. Literally, that's what it meant. Say for say, calf, they lie. Calf, they don't talk to and if we possibly not talk to you now, it's not to lie, they lie. Ah, I don't know who out to my if everything you mean just like it is. We'll go there back tomorrow, yeah? Mm-hmm. No stress. Till we meet again. Triple A. Ta ta.